what's up you guys? So I thought today I would show you my collection of thrifted shoes. While I don't deny it is hard to find shoes at a regular chain thrift store like Goodwill or Salvation Army, it's not impossible to find shoes secondhand. So all of the pairs that I have here, I bought in person at local stores in New York City. So let's just jump into it. I'm gonna start with flat shoes because I only have two pairs. These are my Nike Air Force Ones. I picked these up in a vintage store in Paris called Episode. These were in pretty good condition when I got them. They obviously do have some scuffing, but in general, it looked like they had been cleaned. I think they were 30 euros, which is not too much more than $30. The second pair of flats that I have is a recent acquisition. These are Jeffrey Campbell pointed toe V-cut flats. They have this cute little buckle detail and they're made of this super buttery soft leather. I got these at Buffalo Exchange. I think they were only $20. Now I'll move on to heels. At the same time that I bought those Jeffrey Campbell flats, I also bought these cute blue shoes, also from Buffalo Exchange. These were $12, so very reasonably priced. I guess my only complaint about these is that they're a little bit uncomfortable. I did get some blisters on my feet from this strap. And then on the same shopping trip, I got these Topshop lace-up heels at Monk Vintage. And then the last pair of heels that I have are these Awoke Vintage Wicker Mules. I hesitated putting these in the video because they're technically new. They're a Woke Vintage's shoe line, which I haven't looked into the sourcing of, but I figured since this purchase was supporting a local vintage shop, it was at least in some way sustainable. <laughs> And now I will move on to the boots. I have one pair of cowboy boots, these bad boys. <laughs> 90s cowboy boots from L Train Vintage. These were only $5. Now I did show in the other video, they have missing soles, but they do seem to be real leather and they've really held up. I've worn them a lot, especially earlier in the spring. Now, lastly, I have three pairs of thrifted Doc Martens. A lot of people ask how I managed to find Doc Martens at the thrift store. You're gonna wanna go to like a curated thrift store. If these ever ended up in a Goodwill, they wouldn't last a second. Whereas at Buffalo Exchange and Crossroads and similar places, there's a lot of them coming through there because there's a lot of hip, trendy people deciding that they're over their Doc Martens and they want to get rid of them. I did that. <laughs> this first pair are the white 1460 boot. I had a pair of these before that I sold to Buffalo Exchange. Essentially, they're the same shoe. I sold them to Buffalo Exchange and then bought them back. So these were pretty much in perfect condition when I bought them. It looked like no one had ever worn them before, but as time goes on, they do get a little bit scuffy. That's something to keep in mind if you're looking at buying a pair of white or lighter colored Doc Martens. Then I have what I think is the 1940 boot. Bought these for $60. These were also $60. So these were definitely a little more worn in, but I think especially with the black Doc Martens, they just look even better when they get kind of beat up. What I do wish about these shoes was that they had a zipper on the inner side of the shoe because it does take a really long time to lace them up all the way. And then lastly, I do have one very lucky find from a somewhat curated thrift store. These like the cowboy boots are from L Train Vintage, specifically, urban jungle out in Bushwick. These looked like they had never been worn before. These are the Doc Martens 1460 boot in a floral pattern that I don't believe they sell anymore. You can even see the bottom is like flawless. I've only worn them once so far, but I, I should just push my boundaries and do a little pattern mixing. So why exactly do I want to wear other people's sweaty shoes? 300 million pairs of shoes end up in landfills annually. And most of the material that's used to make shoes takes over a thousand years to break down. Most of these shoes are unfortunately made in sweatshops by women and children. I personally don't want to support that and I'm gonna continue buying secondhand shoes to the best of my ability. All right, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what else you want to see. See you in the next one.